For you dear viewer, I have this fresh Windows install. Let's do Hello World in Haskell. So let's set up the tooling first, which is 90% of the Hello World challenge anyway. And I'm gonna do Haskell with Visual Code because it's a popular choice. So now it's installing and launch the motherfucker. Okay, let's start writing Haskell. Hello World. So we should be done, right? This is it. How do I change the extent? So we can just name it hello.hs. And we have Haskell, hooray! It even knows about logo. Excellent. And Visual Code helps us, saying we need to have the Marketplace plugin. I want to have GHC simple. Exactly this one. So in recent versions of GHC, we have IDE support, which this thing leverages. Now let's run the motherfucker again. Start debugging. There's no environment. So this is where we open up a terminal. Now Windows is like a very advanced operating system. We have like buttons and you know, windows. This is a window, there are windows here. And we're gonna use this advanced operating system to install stack and do everything from CLI. So stack Haskell, there you go. Stack is like a layer on top of build tool, on top of a compiler tool chain. Uh, they provide us an installer, how nice of them. So let's use that and run it. Now. Next, uh, make sure to add it to the path, otherwise we can't find it in the terminal. Right, we need to reboot because we added something to the path. So let's reboot. That's right, this creates a new stack template for us. But first it needs to download everything, which is going to take a while. It needs to download. And no, we're done. So let's open up that folder that's being generated by that. Haskell, this folder. Excellent. Reloads visual code. And now we have two source folders. The app is for the executable and the source is for the library. Generally, you just want to throw everything in the library. And this already generates a sort of hello world program for us. So we just open up a terminal and type stack run. Now it's installing the compiler for us to compile this program. We have this sum function, which is like the entry point of our application. And that's basically the same as main. Uh, this is the usual stack template. Another thing I actually wanted to show off, like we can add, for example, another uh, statement, print, hello world, you know, and we can put it into a tuple, for example. Bye. And now we get a compile error because we forgot to do the magical do statement. This is Python mode for Haskell. And if we save this, everything works. We get the type signature, we have a list of characters, and we have an integer, which is the type of this tuple, right? which will result into IO. So GHC simple helps us figuring out what the types of everything is. Same for print string line. And if we run this program with a terminal, the terminal, back run, we compile it first, link it, and there is our output. Hello world, some function. So what do we get? We get type inference from visual code um, with help of GHC simple. So this is like directly from the compiler, right? Um, we get completion. So if we print, we can, for example, say P, and it will say, oh, there is a pi available in our global scope. We can use that to print it. And there's also like find all references, for example, finding all the references, this function. Video over. Thanks for watching everyone. I occasionally stream with a more professional setup on uh, Nixos, but you could see it in a link in the description. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Thanks.